guys, what's up? Um, it's Christina, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my five travel hacks, um, just all about traveling, all about flights, traveling to more places, um, doing it cheaper, and essentially how I do it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep watching, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy. I said enjoy like three times, but it's fine. So my first travel hack that I'm going to be talking about is flights. In my opinion, flights are always the most expensive part of traveling. Um, so once you have that down, you can kind of plan the rest of your trip. So um, my tricks for finding cheap flights are a few different websites. So number one, you're always going to want to open a, an incognito tab. The first website that I always go to is kayak.com. Um, so kayak is not just one airline, it's a bunch of different airlines, like it shows you all of them. So if you put in, you just put, it's just like any other website. So you put in um, where you wanna go, like what airport you wanna fly into, the dates and how many people, and then it'll show you a list of all the different airlines and all of the different prices. So that's one of the websites that I use. And then I also like using Skyscanner or even Google Flights. Um, I kind of go on all three of them and compare and see where I can find the best deal. So my second tip is going to be be flexible. Um, I know this is kind of like already known, but you really want to be flexible when you're traveling because it's going to help you travel um, the cheapest and find the best deal. So be willing to fly out like either a day earlier or later than you were hoping. Um, sometimes those days for whatever reason are cheaper. Are Oh my goodness are cheaper um, also layovers are not the worst thing in the world they're not like if you have a 45 minute layover at an airport it's really not a big deal like especially if you're gonna save a hundred dollars I don't know to me it's totally worth it I'll take the layover third tip for traveling cheap is to use Airbnb so Airbnb is one of my favorite things um, I've used them multiple times I don't think there's any problem with it as long as you thoroughly check the reviews check the location of the house that you're gonna be staying at um, make sure you thoroughly read through all the house rules I love Airbnb I've used them multiple multiple times um, you get to stay in a home it's not like you're just in a hotel room um, and you don't have any of your own stuff like sometimes these homes will have like private gyms or backyards or lakes or pools or anything like that and you have it all to yourself like you have your own full-size kitchen your own like big bedroom you're not just crammed in a tiny room and most of the time they're way 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 cheaper than hotels so that's one of my favorite parts right, my fourth tip is going to be to pack light um, so this kind of actually goes along with flights as well um, in order to save that $25 of baggage fees try and pack in just a carry-on so um, you can honestly fit so much stuff in a carry-on there's a bunch of different videos of how to pack a carry-on to maximize the space some you can like roll your clothes put stuff inside your shoes um, just there's a bunch of different videos I'm sure if you look one up you can find one but you can fit I've traveled for like three weeks in a carry-on like you can do it I promise <laughs> okay and then my fifth tip for um, traveling is actually when you get to your destination um, is about transportation so I am not a huge fan of like taking the bus or anything like that um, especially in places that I don't know but I will do it if I have to. Honestly, Ubering, yes, it's cheap if you are doing it like once in a while, but Ubering gets so, so, so expensive. Like I can't even tell you how much money Lindsay and I spent in California just Ubering. An Uber from the Golden Gate Bridge to the San Francisco airport at like five o'clock was over $60. Over $60, like that is insane. Like. I, obviously, so we aren't 21 yet, um, and obviously we're not 25. Basically, at the very least, you have to be 21 to rent a car, and I always, if you're over 21, like, I think that's always the best deal, um, especially if you're doing it with multiple people, then you can split the money. Just try not to Uber, like, Ubering is fine um, for some stuff, obviously, but like, walk if you can, you can rent bikes in a bunch of places, um, I don't know, take the bus, take the train, like there's so many different options. So try not to spend all of your money like on your transportation because you want to be able to enjoy yourself while you're over there and like doing whatever you're doing. So just try and be mindful of that. Um, as always, this isn't really a tip, but as always, like you guys, if you really want to travel, you're going to make it happen. Um, so if you are having trouble saving money for a trip, have a specific budget of how much money you want to spend wherever you're going. 
um, and just try and stick to that. And if you're having trouble saving money, just think about like I, a lot of the times when I'm saving for a trip, I will take a picture of that place and put it as my phone background. Um, some people even write like on their credit card or tape something to their credit card, like up, like the name of the place that they're going so that when they're spending money, they will think of that place and be like, oh, do I really need this or do I want to go there? Like me, I would rather buy a plane ticket than a Louis Vuitton bag. Like, I don't know, that's just me personally, but um, good luck guys. I hope that these tips helped you. I'm sorry the video took so long for me to post. Um, but I hope you enjoyed these tips. I hope they help you. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them below. Um, follow me on Instagram and you get to see all of my travels and places that I'm going. But I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.